All right, team. Thank you so much for jumping on the call this morning. I appreciate it more than you know. Uh, Monday morning pep talk, episode 217. Take flight is a business and lifestyle operational system. And before I get into that call, I just want to remind you of my professional purpose. And that is to help you, the broker advisor, optimize your productivity and help you become the best version of yourself. Why? Because happy brokers sell more real estate. And I do that by helping you handle challenges and opportunities that you face every single day. If you can effectively manage certain situations that arise on a daily basis in your business, you'll be more productive and live a life that is the best version of you. And my ask is that you listen to me today as if we are in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session in my office or on a phone call. On this 217th episode of my Monday Morning Pep Talk and the final episode of Take Flight version 4.0, I'll take you through a 30,000 foot review of Take Flight, which is intended to be a business and lifestyle operating system. Most of you that listen are in the real estate brokerage industry, but if you, but it can just as easily, easily be used in most entrepreneurial endeavors. And to anchor some of my key concepts from the program today, I've taken a few phrases that I've read in books, picked up on a podcast, or found on a social media profi profile. And I'm going to use those today, weaved in uh, as my guiding principles that I've used over the years and have passed them on to you through these Monday morning pep talks and this podcast. And as I review Take Flight version 4.0 4 today, like I said, I will weave those in to this call. As I've discovered the concepts around Take Flight over the last 15 years, here are, the, some, here are some of the things that I am 100% sure about. Okay. You become what you think about. You become what you think about. You must have a vision, a goal, a North Star that guides your path in your decision making. A three year time frame is perfect. And you may start to hear me use it as a three year flight as I fur further formalize my content around Take Flight. The point being, you will not get up in the morning and do the things you need to do if you do not have a clear path defined around your why. You become, the, you become what you think about. Number two, need to eliminate negative stagnant energy from your business and your life. If it is not working, move on. Matthew McConaughey so br brilliantly stated and I use this as a guiding principle, high performance starts with elimination. High performance starts with elimination. I love that one. Number three, making good decisions and setting boundaries is key to living a happy, productive life. You've all heard this one. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. It's become one of the most important decision filters that I have used in my life. And I know many of you kind of use it as your battle cry as well. If it is not a hell yes, it's a hell no. And you, you can use this, like I said, around most decisions and will help you set boundaries. Uh, sometimes it's not about the decisions you make positively. It's about the ones you don't act on, right? So if it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. Number four, it is imperative to have a solid goal setting and goal attainment strategy. I feel strongly that a quarterly business planning strategy is the best approach. And I've been inspired by the 12 week year by Brian Moran and EOS, which is Entrepreneurial Operating System. That is based off of the book called Traction written by Gino Wickman. Uh, so I don't, I don't, you've heard me talk a lot about the 12 week year, a lot of how I coach in, in some of the concepts that I bring up are a little bit different than a 12 week year. So really it's more of that. I was inspired by it, but there's a lot of EOS dropped into, into my coaching. 
The key though here is that you want to give yourself four deadlines a year. It's so much more, so much more effective than focusing, focusing on uh, just annualized goals. I do think that you need, you know, some annualized thoughts, some of the projects that you want to get done, some goals that you have for the year, but you've got to break it down into four separate quarters. Chunking things down using a periodization strategy is key to goal attainment, meaning you take your three-year vision, you break it down into three years, you take that three years and break each one of those years into quarters, and then those quarters you break into weeks, okay, 13 weeks. The 13th week is where you review, you plan, and you celebrate. And then you take those weeks into days. And then I also look that look at it in the way that if you want to win your days, you've got to win the morning. So chunking things down using a periodization strategy is key to goal attainment. Number five, a relationship-based business model is core to who I, to who I am as a person and the reason I created the first take flight for you in 2016. Authentically and empathetically helping someone, the person, with one of their top financial decisions is why we do what we do. Selling homes in a competitive hustle culture mindset is ego-driven and will keep you on the treadmill of lead generation the rest of your career. Building a business and systems using a CRM around a selected group of clients that you provide value to that you provide value to over the life of your business is the only way to create a predictable and enjoyable business. Your compensation will always be the sum of how many clients you help times the value you provide them. Read that again. Your compensation is the sum of how many clients you will help times the value you provide them. Number six, you need five lists. Your top 100, your top 100 referral partners, your hot list, your warm list, highly underrated, that warm list, and a list of collaborative brokers in your local market. The stronger those lists are, the higher your revenue. Number seven, as James Clear, who wrote The Atomic Habits, states, you rise, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. You must take the time to build out repeatable transactional systems and processes and follow them. There is so much wasted time in reinventing the wheel every single transaction. Nobody, nobody is that good. You're going to hear me talk a lot about this in 2024. A lot about this in 2024. Number eight, marketing is about creating connections with people that need your talents and experience. Marketing is about creating connections with people that need your talents and experience. That's that's my personal definition of marketing that I've just come up with in the last couple of weeks. And I think it kind of ties it up nicely, right? Marketing is about creating connections with people that need your talents and experience. Today's consumer is attracted to those products and people that they connect with. So you must use the, this fact to build out your marketing systems. As a guiding principle, people hire who they know, like, and trust. You've heard it over and over again. I did three separate podcasts on each one of those. People hire who they know, people hire who they like, and people hire who they trust. You can keep, go back and listen to those three podcasts, but if you can put those three things together for your marketing, you will win. Number nine, you can only do so much yourself. If you're pushing 50 plus hours a week, 25 transactions a year, or 25 million in production, it is time to add capacity. It's time to add capacity. You need help. And there's different ways and that you can do that. Uh, there's a lot of different team setups, but really you want to hire to your weaknesses, to the things that you do not do well. Number 10, happy brokers sell more real estate. Happy broker, sell more real estate. You must take care of yourself through strategically planned time off and self-care. And you need to learn to, quote unquote, front load the year. I want you traveling to reward yourself, not traveling to escape. 
two completely different ways to look at your time off and your travel. So as we reviewed Take Flight version 4.0, I just gave you 10 high level areas that are, you know, kind of the basis, the core of what I teach and I coach. On last week's Monday Morning Pep Talk episode 216, I showed you how Take Flight creates critical mass in your business by using a sales funnel approach where your marketing and personal branding feeds your systems and processes, resulting in one transaction turning into three. Those, those transactions that close then are supported by a strong relationship and database management strategy that cares for your clients over the life of your business, producing repeat business, producing repeat business. This approach is the holy grail for high performance for any business, including, of course, real estate brokerage. Lead generation drops into your systems and processes, which creates more business because you have done an amazing job. People want to talk about you. Then those closed transactions drop into your database and relationship management strategies that then creates repeat business over the life of your business. Take Flight version 4.0 over the course of 37 episodes and almost 12 hours of content takes you through the steps that you need that you need to do to create critical mass or 30,000 feet. Critical mass is 30,000 feet. This is when you pull your engines back and cruise. This is that predictable and enjoyable business we've all been looking for. It's proven. It can be done. I've seen it firsthand and it is a beautiful thing to watch. To get there, though, it takes effort, it takes commitment, and most importantly, it takes an enormous amount of patience. It was my goal in 2023 to put take flight on quote-unquote tape. I wanted to be able to direct my brokers and advisors at Jameson Sotheby's International Realty to a place where they could learn these concepts from the comfort of their own home on their schedule and use the Take Flight Progress Tracker, which I sent out in last week's email, to chart their progress. For those of you in other markets that have followed along with us and found the program helpful, I am so grateful for your participation, your daily interactions, and your kind words. For those of you just jumping on, I invite you to go back to episode number 179. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and now YouTube, all searchable under my tag name, which is Ask Jim Miller. Um, and I, if, you, if you're not on the email, uh, you know, you can send me an email at jim at askjimmiller.com or head over to my Instagram at askjimmiller and sign up via my link in my profile. I'm creating this content to help all of you become better and happier brokers. In 2024, team, I'm going to push myself to add more color to take flight. I have been most comfortable, quite honestly, behind the mic, but know that I need to bring myself to the surface once and for all and show my face. So please be patient with me as I grapple with the next stage, as I will need to learn new skill sets. I will need to do more research to stay relevant, and I will need to be a better version of myself to lead this amazing group of people, not only at Jameson Sotheby's International Realty, but those of you that follow my content and my coaching, I am so grateful more than you know for all of you. And I want all of you to have a wonderful holiday season. Obviously, the next couple Mondays are holidays. So I will be back with you on that first, I think it's January 10th. So thank you. Have a wonderful holiday season. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you.